I'm just like gonna do anything to get these flowers in shot. Like, don't mind those. Oh, hello. I thought it would be time for another What I Eat In A Day video because it's been a hot minute. And you know what? I'm still eating things in a day. So I don't know what I'm saying. I'm really hungry. Um, I've just been working this morning and now it is 1.07 p.m. Anyone that knows me, this is actually not normal for me. I normally eat breakfast close to when I wake up. But um, this past week has been exciting and crazy. At the beginning of the week, my merch launched at shopjacquelineforbes.com. So it's been kind of a sleepless couple of last weeks. There's just been so much going on. So with that, my sleep schedule has been messed up. And with that, my morning breakfast has turned into a brunch, which has then turned into a lunch, which is now when we're making breakfast. But look at these gorgeous little flowers here. I am so obsessed. They're just starting to open up and look amazing. Now I've been loving having matcha lately. The last week I got a restock on all of my favorite David's tea matchas. And I've just been, I forgot how much I loved David's tea matcha. So I'm going to do the vanilla matcha. I'm going to show you the easiest way on how to do matcha. It may not be the correct way, but this is Jacqueline very easy morning matcha latte recipe. Let's go. Step one, boil water. Okay, water boiling. Now we're gonna take the very trusty blender. I truly live for my Vitamix blender. I'm gonna take the vanilla matcha powder and I normally do a good old scoop of that. These days I just uh, freestyle a little bit and I just kind of eyeball it because I know how much I need. This smells like vanilla rice krispies. I've always been obsessed with this flavor. And there actually is a little bit of coconut sugar in this, so it is kind of naturally sweetened. So I never add any more sweetener into this. But if I was doing more of a plain matcha, like I have some other matchas from them and these ones aren't sweetened, so I would normally add a bit of a sweetener in. Yummy, yummy. Now I'm gonna pour the boiling water directly. Like that. Now I'm gonna take some soy milk, pour that in as well. And then we're just gonna blend this swamp water up. It truly does not get easier than this. Ooh, she is looking frothy. Just about overflowed that. There we go, that is the easiest matcha latte recipe ever. Look at all that little foam. Mmm, it's so good. Who needs a milk frother? Not me. I'm such an like, obsessive person. I go through coffee phases, now I'm back in my matcha phase. It's really hard to keep up. It's so good, it's so good. Good morning, we are back. I mean, good day, I should be saying. Good day, not good morning, it's 1.15. I don't think I get to say good morning anymore. It's like a warm hug, it really is. Okay, before we hop more into this video, I do wanna start off by thanking Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I know you've heard me talk a lot about Squarespace, but that's because I genuinely am obsessed with them. It's actually the platform that I use to launch my merch, shopjacquelineforbes.com, and Squarespace really makes it as easy to use as it gets. It was great to use because, I'm gonna tell you, when I was launching this merch, I didn't really know what I was doing, and luckily the interface is super user-friendly, and it really just is a great all-in-one platform to help you run your business. So if you've been thinking about it, you can head to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes to get 10% off your first purchase, but we'll chat a little bit more about that later. Until then, I'm just gonna down this matcha latte. Are you guys with me on this journey? It's so good. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I just love my little swampy water beverages. My house is somewhat turned into a bit of a disaster. Don't know if you can see all these piles of clothes over there. We're gonna do a little quick laundry cleanup, a little folding of the laundry, need to vacuum. Gonna play some good tunes, sip on this, and then I'll be back to make some proper breakfast in like 15 minutes. Cheers, baby. Oh honey, we are ready for some toast. Okay, so I'm gonna throw two pieces of just whole wheat bread into my lovely toaster. We're gonna do my favorite kimchi avocado toast. Although I have to say, this kimchi is all right, but it's not as good as the other kimchi. It's like the wild brine, I think that's the name of it. The one that I normally use is better, but this one works because I ran out of the other one. Ooh, she is a pretty avocado. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a half of an avocado on each side, and then I'm just gonna smash it. Oh, I am making an absolute mess today. Okay, now comes the important step, the kimchi. I like a lot of kimchi because I'm obsessed. Now don't knock this combo until you try it. And then I just top it with some everything but the bagel, just for a little crunch. And there we go, that is gonna be breakfast. Here is Brecky. 
This is just mm, my dream. Maybe I'm like re-entering my toast phase. You guys know I go through an oatmeal phase and I go through a toast phase and it just goes back and forth. And lately toast has been just absolutely speaking to me. Mmm. It's something about like the crunchy kind of like cabbage with a little bit of heat mixed with like the fatty avocado. It is the perfect combo. If anyone else has tried this, please let me know if you're as obsessed with it as I am. My lips are so chapped. It's just so dry and cold out that the spice in this is like making my lips absolutely burn. So today's agenda, I mean, it is 2.20 now. Gotten a lot of work done, which is good. It is a Friday today, which this is the first weekend slash Friday night I'm gonna like be taking off and I'm so excited. It's just been so busy lately. And I feel like I've kind of been like a bad friend slash bad daughter slash just so busy with work. And I don't ever wanna be that person that doesn't have enough time for like friends and family. But honestly, the last like three weeks, I feel like I've been that person. So I'm so excited today. I'm gonna take the night off. I'm gonna go hang out with my parents. We're gonna do like a nice little dinner, we're gonna cook something. And I think we're gonna try out a new like dessert recipe and probably just watch like Survivor all night and hang out. And I'm just so excited to spend time with them and just like be a regular human again. But before I head over there, I kind of wanna do like a little art project. I've had this little vase behind me there. The color pink is always just like not been my favorite. It's too deep of a pink. I like more of a baby pink. So I've been seeing all these different things on TikTok of like how to do this like terracotta kind of painting and or terracotta pots or how to like rework your glass phases into terracotta looking like pots. It's been all I've been seeing on TikTok and you basically just mix baking soda into paint and then it makes this kind of like, you know, like dry matte terracotta clay kind of pot finish. So I'm like, should I just do that and paint that more of like either a tan kind of orange or like a baby pink? I'm just feeling inspired to bring out the paintbrush today. Okay gang, we're gonna make some vegan honeycomb toffee, thanks to Tasty. I don't know why the video isn't loading. It says mint cookies, we're not making mint cookies. Um, it's my mom's favorite dessert, like sponge toffee. So we gonna make some today for the what I eat in a day. Cause I haven't made a cool recipe in a while. I'm in my mom's kitchen. She's a big island, which is way better for cooking. Are you ready? Mom, there's three ingredients in this recipe. Baking soda, corn syrup, and sugar. Okay, so I need two cups of white sugar. And then mom, we need one third a cup of water. I think that's okay. flat. Okay, and then last one one we have to do is half a cup of light corn syrup. I didn't know it was that hot. I think it's fine, it's just getting hot. Come on, chef. We're baking and we have so much fun. Pour that in, and then we need one tablespoon of baking soda on standby. Oh, and then mom, what we need is parchment paper prepped in that container, eh mom? So what we're gonna do, as soon as we think it's like hot enough, we're gonna take it, push it, put it off the heat, and then you have to pour that in and whisk it in, but you only whisk five times, it says, okay, Dan? Can you feel it, Dan? Tell me if that's really, really hot or just hot. Okay. <laughs> you don't wanna do that? Dan, you're gonna risk your hand for this. What do you have to do? So you're gonna pour that in quick and then quick, so we have to turn off the heat. Okay. And then you have five seconds. Quickly pour it in and then it has five seconds to quickly spin. Okay, spin. One, two, three, four, five. Stop, 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 remove the whisk. Now pour, pour this. Pour into the tray. Hell yeah. Oh look at it, it looks nice and bubbly. Guys, this looks really good. Do you want this? Yeah, one? yeah. Coming in, coming in, coming in. Oh, it just so smells like it. Really? Oh, oh I thought you were saying it was bad. Amazing. No, it smells so good. Good job, guys. This looks good. Wow. That was pretty quick, That's actually. Very easy. Yeah, that that's dangerous now to know that. <laughs> Mm, it does smell like it, eh? I tried making this for my mom for her birthday like two years ago because she loves sponge coffee, but it did not turn out as good. So we want to let that sit for two hours. We might have to put it in the fridge. Now we're gonna make dinner, baby. Okay, so we are actually all starving. So on the actual food dinner menu tonight, we're gonna be doing a coleslaw, which sounds really good. We're gonna do chunky, crispy potato wedges and then an Impossible Burger or Beyond Meat Burger? Beyond? Beyond Meat Burger. I need assistance. So we're being really lazy and buying a pre-bought kale slaw. But I'm gonna make the little dressing, and this is from simpleveganista.com. Half a cup of vegan mayo. I'm gonna just eyeball these recipes because I believe that I can eyeball that. So two thirds a cup. How much is a cup? Like that's probably. Why don't you actually measure it so you know? That's fine. This is how I cook. I'm stressed, guys. There's normally only one chef in the kitchen. Okay, so we need two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah fish bone. Oh! 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 You got your lens. Oh, that's disgusting, mate. That's absolutely bloody disgusting. It farted. I don't want nothing to do with that ever again. Oh, that actually smells really bad. I can't stop talking in accents these did days. It your lens? No, I don't think it did. Right there. Where? 
I think that's a reflection. Okay. It's actually a very easy dressing. We need pure maple syrup, Danny. Come on, chef. We're slowing down in the red kitchen. It's like a bartender when they go one, two, that counts as one ounce. Like I just have that chef brain, so you just don't understand that it's actually a chef genius in your kitchen. Yes, chef. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm. I just love a slaw. So then we'll put this in the fridge and then we'll do potatoes next. Get those potatoes in the oven. This actually might be the perfect amount. Let that kind of chill in the fridge. It's weird, I have at my house, I drink my coffee in a wine glass. Now at your house, I'm having wine in a, just a water glass. To mother daughter family bonding. God. <laughs> Potato time, chefs. Show them, yeah, show them the oil on camera. And then we're gonna put a little bit of that and then the seeds mixture. Can you show them the seeds mixture? So, what's that a blend of? It's got like nutritional yeast. Let's read it. This is from Fresh. Y'all know my favorite restaurant. Tommy nutritional Tommy. yeast, just like a tablespoon. That's good, that's good. Um, watermelon seeds, sunflower seeds, hemp, flax, sesame, chia, poppy seed, garlic, black pepper. There's a ton of different stuff. So now you want to give that a toss, Mama, the stuff on. Put the half of that and then the extra half can go in the other batch. And then we'll put these in the oven for like 35 minutes at 4.15. They look like apples, actually. They are potatoes, not apples. We're going to caramelize some onions because that is just so essential. Okay, I lied. We're actually using the PC vegan burgers. What are they called? The green package burgers. <laughs> it's like, it's like almost like impossible burger, but it's not. It's like, you wouldn't believe it burger. It's like a knockoff version. And the sponge toffee is looking like it's setting up good. My dad is not vegan. Don't judge us for using not vegan cheese. Yeah, and I hate how you have shredded cheese. Like, I feel like it's the shredded cheese gets everywhere. Oh, don't put it on the burger. Don't, don't. Oh, you don't want yours melted? Well, no, because it'll make a mess on yours. Butter yours. Pour water now, quick, pour water. To confirm, it's the undeniable burger. And this is the technique to get your cheese melted. You put a bit of water at the very end and it steams and melts that cheese perfect, baby. Uh -huh. Yes. No These look so good. I'm so hungry. I'm just toasting my bun because I'm the only normal human in this family. Guys, this looks delish. Okay, I want to try this coleslaw. I've been waiting long enough. Mmm. Thank you, Jeff. It's so good. Thanks, Chef. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that. How do you guys not like a toasted bun? Lots of caramelized onion and I need lettuce. Like, I love onion. Like an obscene amount of onion. I like lettuce. I like lots of lettuce. Mustard. Oh, that was an obscene amount. Oh, yes. And those fries. Woo. Look at these fries, baby. Oh, these look perfect. Can I sit beside you, mama? Mm -hmm. Of course, come. Wow, what I eat in a day, eating good edition. I'm gonna, you just use this. Let me try the coleslaw. I like the coleslaw. Very good. Wow, do you like the burger, guys? Delicious. Mmm. Yeah, this burger is absolutely, look at the size of this. Mmm. Bon appetit. Oh, I'm making a mess. Dan, can you give your review on camera? Can you come up here and say how good of a chef I am? Tastes awesome. Tastes awesome. Love that. My chin is all. Oh, whatever. My face is disgusting right now. I was so hungry. The day escaped me yet again. I was just so hungry. I'm eating like a barbarian. Ah, oh, thanks, Mama. I like. I love. And the thing is, I genuinely love the taste of kale. Like, kale is like so hearty and like. Mmm. I think we'd be great roommates. I actually think we would be great roommates. I mean, I guess we were roommates for the first 21 <laughs> years of my life. That looks so good. Look at the texture. You can see, see the last time I did it, it like lost. Was the side. Oh my God, that looks so, mom, we did great work. I know. What's your technique gonna be? So I'm gonna take, take, ah, ah, my brute force. You use the end of it, nice. I don't need it. Oh my God, the texture looks so looks much good. better. Okay, we need to melt some chocolate. Oh, it's just really good. Mmm, this is the best stuff we've ever made. That is just, Pure sugar at six tier cheese. It tastes like Rocky Mountain. Mmm. So I think you're just gonna go like this. And then depending how much you want, like I like just a dip, I think a dip is nice. They're so cute. It's a very easy dessert to make too. <laughs> What's that the chocolate uh, Oh, I heard that big spice. It sounds like a way to break my food. But very delicious. Good work, chef. 
Wow, that was the most perfect night ever. I am so rejuvenated. That was uh, such a great and well needed day. We ended up watching Elf and because I am the worst movie watcher ever, I fell asleep halfway through, but it's all good. All good vibes. That sponge toffee just was so perfect and I cannot explain it. And it's so easy to make. I don't know why we don't make it more. It's my heart is full. My stomach is full. Things are good. Now, before I go, I did want to chat to you a little bit more about our sponsor, Squarespace. I know you hear me talk about Squarespace all the time, but that's because I genuinely genuinely love them so much. I have both my websites from with them. I have my merch website, Shop Jacqueline Forbes, which if you haven't checked out, definitely go take a look at. I just love the platform Squarespace overall just because it's so easy to use. I obviously have no experience coding or doing graphic design or any of that stuff, but they have so many pre-made templates that it makes it so easy to just plop in a photo, link your video, attach your social medias, all those things that you're going to want to do. And of course, with Shop Jacqueline Forbes, my merch site, I've really discovered so many of their e-commerce features as well. They have detailed analytics and back-end reporting. You can learn about your customers who's adding things to their carts, things like that. And it really just is the easiest and most foolproof way to go, especially if you've been thinking about making a website for a long time. You gotta check out Squarespace. It is my favorite. I'm challenging you. If you've been thinking about making a website, this is your sign. Head to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes. Get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain and go ahead, use the all-in-one platform, make your dream website, do the thing, and let me know how you like it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm going to go head in bed, get all cozy, and just drift off to sleep. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it a like, comment, follow, do all the things, and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.